The government has not suspended the constitution, neither has parliament done Mr. Speaker. I cannot overemphasize, Mr. Speaker, on the issue of police brutality, as has been said by the leaders here, Mr. Speaker. There is no country in the world, Mr. Speaker, that has reported cases of death through police brutality more than Kenya, Mr. Speaker, in the whole world, because this pandemic was an equalizer. It was happening all over the world, all over the globe, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, our police force cannot behave like goons in uniform, Mr. Speaker. These are people who have been trained properly to protect lives and property of Kenya, Mr. Speaker. That's why they are, Mr. Speaker, unless they have instructions to do that, Mr. Speaker. Secondly, Mr. Speaker, this government has not done anything that is tangible other than announcing numbers, Mr. Speaker, every, every three o'clock of the day, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this is one government that has not even aff could not afford to give its citizens this thing, what is it called? A mask, Mr. Speaker, which is worth three shillings, Mr. Speaker. Leave alone food. No, it doesn't say 20 shillings. Members of parliament are buying in their constituencies for people, mask, Mr. Speaker. We were told that there will be free sanitizers, Mr. Speaker. Kenya Pipeline will produce alcohol-based alcohol sanitizer, Mr. Speaker. Corona is almost ending. I think they have washed it with their hands. Now they are washing it with their legs, Mr. Speaker. Because we have not seen any sanit free sanitizer in our constituency, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it cannot be business as usual, and we keep quiet. We have the mandate constitutionally to represent the people. We have sovereign power, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this is a government that is unable to feed these people, that cannot give free masks to these people, that cannot give free sanitizer to these people. What else can they do? Mr. Speaker, we are not going to allow this government to contact trace people who have coronavirus in their homes, force them into quarantine, and expect them to pay for the upkeep, Mr. Speaker. The government must pay for the upkeep of people in quarantine that they have traced through their contact, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, if somebody has broken the law, you can quarantine him. No, I have, I have not finished. I know you are not happy with what I am saying today. Mr. Speaker, <laughs> Mr. Speaker, if somebody has been traced with quarantine, Mr. Speaker, and is quarantined, the government must pay that bill, Mr. Speaker. They have the money. Uh, Mr. Speaker, this money that is for, for, corona, for the war on coronavirus, Mr. Speaker, the government must account for it shilling by shilling, Mr. Speaker. Penny by penny. This country is known for people who enrich themselves through miseries, disasters. They are known. They are in offices, Mr. Speaker. This coronavirus money, whether it is the COVID fund, whether it is government fund, we want them to account to this house, Mr. Speaker, coin by coin. Look, people are discussing shamelessly three or four million shillings and mandasi, Mr. Speaker, when our people are dying of corona. People are dying of shame, Mr. Speaker. Shame, Mr. Speaker. We must condemn that act with, with, a, with a, the strongest terms possible, Mr. Speaker. That people can sit in offices and use four million shillings to eat tea and mandasi when people are dying of hunger, people are dying for not having masks, people are dying for not having sanitizer, people are dying out of flood, Mr. Speaker. It's very shameful, Mr. Speaker. And you call yourself government. If it was in democracies that have matured, this government will have resigned. Mr. Speaker, we will have had a general election now. Mr. Speaker, because you have, you have, if you cannot defend your people from floods, you cannot defend your people from, by buying the mask, Mr. Speaker, you are, you don't, you, you, you're not worth even the name to be called government, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, I want this house to rise up to the occasion and hold this government accountable for every action omission and commission that they do against the people of this country, Mr. Speaker. With those few remarks, Mr. Speaker, I really condemn what is happening in this country. And Very well. It's not a check, Mr. Speaker, to do whatever you want, as the leader said here. Very well. Very well. Uh, Honourable members.